Here, at a port in West Africa, a cargo of rice has arrived from South America. It's being discharged from the vessel, bagged and loaded onto trucks for onward delivery by Nectar Group, one of the world leaders in bulk commodity handling. Since its inception in 1972, Nectar Group has operated in 165 different locations in 75 countries. It handles over 10 million tons of bulk cargoes every year, but since a management buyout in 2010, it's added new revenue streams, including the management of bulk terminals. Nectar provides the operations and maintenance of this 6 million ton per year coal export terminal in Mozambique, providing a one-stop shop experience for their clients. They also took over the management of this bulk terminal in Freetown, Sierra Leone, on a 25-year concession. The bagging and bulk handling often gives us an opportunity to see what's happening in a country and with places like Freetown for example we were working there already and when the privatisation process started it was an opportunity for us to expand our activity in that country. Nectar Group now manages and operates a global network of terminals on various continents. In the Philippines, with its joint venture partner, it designed, built and operates this multi-purpose terminal. When the group took over the management of the QE2 terminal in Freetown, there were significant challenges to overcome. When we took it over, it was at the height of the Ebola crisis, so even just getting down there was an issue. But we took a long-term view. In terms of its physical state, it needed a lot of renovation. We're starting from a very low level and then taking it up. I think it says that we're there for the long term and we're very committed to the countries that we're in and it's not just a short-term project for us. Nectar Group's reputation for being able to work in challenging environments is due largely to its willingness to work closely with local partners. We rely very much on our personnel. We have 30 plus international field technicians who are engineers, electrical, mechanical. They are very willing to travel to these places and they build up very good relationships with the people in those countries. Nectar Group is the only company in the sector that designs and operates its own machinery. At its headquarters in Romford in Essex, a team of designers can respond to the feedback its operators give and then make the necessary design adjustments. Nectar moves its equipment around the world, so a standard product may not um, stand up to being moved around all the time. So we design the machine for that purpose. As it's developed and we've had feedback from our technicians and clients that we've sold machines to, we've then been able to develop a second generation and a third generation and make the machine better. So that's why we build our own product. And it's, pretty, it's a pretty unique product as well. The group takes its corporate responsibility very seriously. It's overseen a number of projects to enhance the communities with which it works. It's built a facility in Sierra Leone to train local contractors, as well as school buildings, to help educate local children. Over the years, we've always worked in developing locations. We bring global expertise, but we need local knowledge from many stakeholders in, in all of the locations in which we operate. And by engaging with local communities in different ways, for example in supporting schools and other charitable projects, we give something back to the communities in which we operate. A successful strategy of diversification has seen Nectar Group expand to new horizons. It's by no means the largest operator in the sector, but by investing in both people and new technologies, it's been able to compete on a global scale.